Here we have the derivatives of the six basic trig functions. It's a lot easier to just memorize these rather than do the limit definition every single time. So you'll want to know these by heart, but once you figure out the pattern, they're not so bad. Let's take a look at these derivatives. The derivative of sine x is cosine x. Hey, that's nice. The derivative of cosine x is minus sine x. So they kind of pair up together. The derivative of sine is cosine, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Tangent and cotangent have a similar pattern. The derivative of tangent is secant squared of x, and the derivative of cotangent is minus cosecant squared of x. So the tangent and the secant squared go, the cotangent and the cosecant squared go. The last pair is the secant and the cosecant. The derivative of secant is secant tangent. The derivative of cosecant is minus cosecant cotangent. So that might feel like a lot, but we have a few things to help us. Notice how all the co-functions, when you take their derivative, they have a minus sign. Anytime you take the derivative of a co-trig function, you should get a minus sign in front. And something I want to remind you is that we can mix and match the product rule, the quotient rule, the chain rule, all the derivative rules still apply to these trig functions. So let's do some practice. 